Something just came to my mind. I'll share it with you. Very interesting. Someone says on Friday, you know, I will call out to Allah. I'll repent to him on the Friday and it's Wednesday. Who knows you're going to make it? Can I give you an example? A true story happened in my community back at home. So there was a sister who, who accepted Islam and she was married. So she told her husband, she built the courage to tell her husband, you know what? I, I've reverted to Islam. I went to the masjid here. I've been going for a while. I've been looking at them and I really believe that whatever's going on is actually not true. And so I, I checked them out and I, I started studying and I found them to be absolutely correct. And I decided that I'm going to embrace this faith. And so on Friday, I went to the mosque and you know what? I changed my faith. I became a Muslim and, and that's what I'm letting you know that it's a faith. So the husband, uh, he was excited about it. Subhanallah. Unlike, uh, you know, people sometimes get angry, you know, he was excited. He says, oh, tell me more. Tell me more. I want to know. Uh, he was, uh, he belonged to another faith, right? And when she told this man more about it, he said, tell me about the beliefs. Tell me about this. And they spoke for hours on end. And he says, you know what? I, I'm already part of this faith. I love it. I love what you're telling me. And I had a feeling too. And I'm part of it. So how do I, how do I actually go about it? So she said, well, you believe in it. You can say the Shahada. But on Friday, we're going to go to the mosque. And, because that was the day he had off. He, that was the day he was off work. So on Friday, we'll go to the mosque. And we will actually get the Imam to officiate this whole thing. And so she made him say the Shahada between the two of them. You and I know that he's already a Muslim. And it so happened that on Thursday, this man passed away. He passed away. On that Thursday, he passed away before he went to the masjid. Now, on, on that Thursday, I was contacted to say, are we allowed to bury a person who's not even a Muslim in a Muslim cemetery? And I said, why would you ask the question? And so the people said, well, this man, we've known him to belong to a different faith. His wife is claiming that he's a Muslim. His wife is claiming that he's a Muslim. So I said, look, we need to verify. We need to find out. Let's get hold of the wife. Let's find out what the story is. And lo and behold, the story was told by one person, but exactly as I told it to you. Now, there is a difficulty because if you're a Muslim, the expenses to be buried very little compared to if you're not, where you need so many things and so much. So sometimes some of the community members unfortunately think perhaps this person is lying that they're Muslim in order to cut the costs of burial. You see what I'm saying? But that's not it. I decided on that day that bury this brother, we will do the janazah, we will do whatever else and we bury him with the Muslimin because he's a Muslim. And I remember a few people started arguing with me saying, you know what? No, man, come on. You, we don't have witnesses. I said, that's enough. I'd rather make a mistake to bury someone who wasn't supposed to be in the Muslim graveyard with the Muslimin than to make the opposite mistake where you, you, you're chasing away a person who was a Muslim and letting him go elsewhere. This was just the example. But the moral of this entire story was, look, don't wait for the Friday. You may not know whether you're going to make it or not. Here is a true story and the brother didn't make it. But the good thing is he already reverted to Islam prior to that. He had a valid excuse because he had work and so on, but he did revert. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us.